Hi, I'm Richard Burr. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily design and print your own posters for your classroom using nothing more than your web browser and a standard printer. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use Canva, which you'll find at canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, and we'll use the template for posters. Now within here, you'll find a whole lot of different templates that you can pick from and as you scroll through the templates you'll see there's a section for school posters now of course you can modify any of these templates but we're going to use the one right here for school poster let's open up all of those and as you hover over them you'll see some are marked with a little free icon and some are not. So we'll use one of the free ones here. We'll do quick tips for English class. And you can click on and modify any of these things. Call it Mr. Burns quick tips for English class. And we can modify again any part of this. If you want to see it in more detail, you can adjust the level of zoom so you can move in and look at it in a bit more detail. When you're happy with it, give it a title. And then rather than hitting the print posters option, we're going to download this as a JPEG file. Now Canva does offer a print-on-demand service, but depending on your threshold for pricing, it can be a little bit expensive. So I'm going to show you a free way that you can print these out. So I've downloaded that free JPEG of my poster, and now I'm going to use blockposters.com to create a printable version of this poster. So I'm going to upload my image I just created, that English class poster. So there it is. And now we can customize the size of this. You'll see here it gives me my dimensions 65 centimeters wide by 86 centimeters high or 25 and a half inches by 34 inches. Now you can change that, say you want to make it only two pages wide. And then your dimensions, of course, change as well. And you can say you want to do it in portrait or landscape, specify the type of paper that you have in your printer or the size of paper you have in your printer, and we'll have a border. Now, if you want to remove the watermark from block posters, you can do so, but that does cost $5 to do. I'm just going to say I've read the terms and I'm going to create my poster. Now when I download my poster, that's going to create for me a new PDF file. And when we open up this PDF, we'll see that the poster has been split up into sections. So each section of the poster has its own page here. And now I can just print this out and match up the sections, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, to have my poster in one complete assembly. So that's how you can design and create a classroom poster and print it using a standard printer. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, Please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.